That's what I'm thinking. Be the change you want to see. We can, we can make a difference. And tonight there is an opportunity for you to do that. Uh, my friends and family here, I love them so, and I'm so glad they're here. You know what, John, we're just gonna put you on the payroll. Oh, well, <laughs> thanks. I'll take it. We're seeing John Schmidt here again, but he's been working very, very hard. Let's cure cystic fibrosis. He is inviting you. Mary Claire Schmidt is here. Thank you, you weren't able to come last time. But I was so good to see you. I'm excited to be here now. Thank you so much. Yes, we are so glad. Now, you were doing something for school. Are you a senior? I'm a junior at Assumption. Junior I at love Assumption so much. <laughs> that is so nice. It's yeah. good to be at school and you love your mm -hmm. school. Are you ready, though, for the summer to take a little school break? I am excited. Um, yeah. I don't know that it's necessarily going to be a break, but I've got lots of things um, planned out, and I'm really excited to, to do them all. And you have cystic fibrosis. I do. Um, I was diagnosed when I was about two. Um, and been on different medications ever since, different treatments, and around amazing doctors that I think um, really make it, the support system really, really makes it a great experience. It's amazing because yeah. I, I'm looking at Mary Claire, and I know you can say, Dad, and Alex, and Mark, I'll get to you crazy guys in a minute. <laughs> um, just looking at her, I can remember 50 years ago yeah. when you heard the word cystic fibrosis. Boy, it was a yeah. whole, it was a whole different thing. It was. It was. When, uh, when I was born, life expectancy was about three. Um, and uh, when I was 18, it was 18. And uh, when Mary Claire was born, it was 36. But now with the therapeutics that are out there, uh, her life expectancy is uh, around 60. And we hope to cure it within 20 years. So we want to have a party and a, a good time tonight and raise some money yeah. and see if we can't. Uh, what better way to get it rolling with a party? Right? Isn't that fun? I, mean, I think so. We so got some the, great people. The party yeah. guys. That explains who are, you. Yeah, that's what happened. That's where these guys come in. And if you've not ever oh. been with them, I can tell you it is a party. I don't care what's going on. They're part of my family, and I love them. Alex Raimundo, oh. who is. Uh, a uh, nationally world-renowned comedian. I did not know. I'm not. I'm not seeing this talent. <laughs> oh no. S singer. I'm gonna sing tonight with a crash. I wouldn't angel. actually say sing. Oh. <laughs> He's going to sing a song tonight. So Mark Maxwell, who is the lead singer uh, for the Crashers, and it's so funny when they were all coming in and we were moving chairs and doing everything. I could hear somebody singing, <laughs> and I said, "Oh my God, somebody has a great voice." And then it dawned on me. It wasn't Mark, Alex. Mark. Is <laughs> it was I'll not do Alex. I'm sorry, dude. <laughs> so easy. Alex. I know that comedy and being in front of people is what you do. That's what you've always done. Mark, that's what you do is getting, I mean, when I'm telling you, when he sings and he's on the stage, we'll be back just watching. He comes off the stage and the next thing you know, he's standing in the middle of the table. And as a mom, I want to go over and say, get down. <laughs> so does my mom. Right? So just so you know. <laughs> Yeah. I mean, but you want to be part of yeah. the crowd. You want to be in there and doing it. Why Why did you all decide to jump in and join this? Well, first, you know, uh, okay, this is how it started. John's been around. We've known him. He's been a fan of the band. He's come and ha hung out with us. Great guy. And then Alex and I have done a lot of bad things together. We won't go <laughs> no, there. No, really good things together. Right? But, I, you know, I don't know, this happened. Fun. John said, hey, man, what do you think about this? He called us last year. We said, yeah, you know, we're in. Alex jumped in the boat. We're all in the boat, right? Right. And so... And we're all paddling, which is what we need to be doing <sighs> when you have something that in, uh, affects us all. It, it could affect us all. I, I think it's all about raising awareness, right? Raising right, awareness to, towards uh, uh, the cause and... And what better way to raise it than get a couple people that when we go somewhere, people show up. So people yeah, we have a good audience, and to be able to share that with any cause whatsoever, mm -hmm. uh, you know, is gigantic. And again, we are all friends here, right? Well, yeah. this well, is where it's ended up. Sure. And I have to say for both uh, Alex uh, and Mark, I know them very, very well. Have known them forever. Uh, but you lend your talents and your time and your heart to so many things. So I know people say thank you. 
Uh, but thank you. Mm. Well, I know people say thank you. You said something in the green room when you were talking to the zoo guy, and you, he was talking about the city, and you said, well, when you embrace the city, the city will embrace you back. Always. Yeah. Yeah. Absolutely. Yeah, and yeah. folks turn up in the thousands. Yeah, yeah. Well, the Whatever the occupancy load, uh, it's going to be more when the crash yeah. is there. It's like it's the audience true. is Latino. There's I more don't know, people I always than agree with that, but, but we've been very blessed. You, yeah, because and, people and, like you. Know, here's the thing. Play the songs that people like. Guess what? They'll show up, right? Well, be a show part of it. Get all. them to sing along with you. Get them to be a part of the act. Okay, so but what's going to happen when Alex sings? <laughs> well, we well, 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 the end singing. of the show. It's the potty break. Well, we've it's been saying what, what right. is he singing, yeah, is. but they won't tell us. So, okay, John, where should we show up? And what kind of difference do you want to make? It's my understanding this is the first time there's been a concert of this kind in this venue. Right. So this is the uh, Mount Washington West Banco Amphitheater. And the city of Mount Washington was kind enough to donate that to us. And um, so uh, it's the first large concert that they've had. It's the first time the Crashers have played Mount Washington. That's true. And, um, and so we're really excited about this. We're hoping this is an annual event. Mm -hmm. um, and uh, we're looking to raise some money to uh, give to CF so that uh, we can help find a cure and treat families that are less fortunate and can't afford the care. Absolutely. And, um, you know, we, we're blessed. We have been personally, like, I know that we have been so lucky, um, but I know that there's so many people out there that are, it's, it's really something to wrestle with. Um, and they, the goal is to provide care for them. Um, and yeah, everyone with cystic fibrosis, it's, a, it's their own personal battle, but we like to, you know, kind of be with them on the sidelines and um, support each other. Yeah. So, Mary Claire, can yeah. I ask you when you think of, you know, you look at your dad and all that he wants to do and you think of your family mm -hmm. and your friends and how they support you, what's, what's that mean to you? What does your heart say? It means, it means so much. I have an amazing support group. Um, and I always have, and I don't think necessarily I've always recognized it, but especially, um, you know, in the past couple of years, that's come to light in a very obvious way. And, you know, this wasn't my idea, um, but I, I love it, but it was his idea. And that just kind of exemplifies exactly how much love is, is surrounding um, this group. And I just, wanna, I just want everyone to know that and, oh, and everyone to share <laughs> that. Um, well, your daddy and I know you. I know. Yeah, hold on, so I just, <laughs> it's you may not have gotten to you. see it last time, but your daddy was trying to put in words who you are and what you meant, and he, he almost didn't get it out. <laughs> I understand because I'm a mama, and I see your girl, and I'm so proud mm -hmm. and just so grateful to see her stand strong. She's when a you, strong woman. When you look at her, what do you, what do you think, and when you... Think of other parents that have C, uh, that have cystic fibrosis, have CF. What do you want them to know? There's hope. So the best advice I got when uh, we found out, we didn't know until she was two and a half or so. So I was in Baton Rouge, Louisiana, and uh, a guy on my team uh, said, hey, when you get this call to find out, do you want me to be with you? And uh, his name's Dave Bebout, great guy. And I said, yeah. Dave shared with me his story. And his child died at nine, and his child, when they said, take child home, doesn't have long to live. And, and David prayed with the child every day and, and really poured himself into the child. The child lived to be nine, the longest living child with that, that issue ever. And Dave gave me great advice. He said, do you have hopes and dreams for your daughter? And I said, yeah. And, and he said, do not let the disease define your child. Oh. Right? She is not Mary Claire, a person with cystic fibrosis. She's Mary Claire. And cystic fibrosis is something that we deal with, like I have to wear glasses or people get braces, uh, people wear contacts. Whatever it is, um, it's something that we deal with. So every day we were doing vests and the treatments with the nebulizers. There's and so many. That's one thing. There's so many different um things that have been available because of research that has been made and there's so many steps that are are still to be taken um, with the with the proceeds from events like this but not only this but so many different efforts across the um, the nation and you know the world um, so but I'm really grateful for all the research that has been done um, and all the steps that I personally have made um, in my health 
in 17 years. But the, like, I'm not the only example. There's so many people who have been so blessed to be um, recipients of of that. Well, gift, so. you're our house, and your daddy talked about you <laughs> when you, when yes, you were yes, here last indeed. time. We are just all so proud of you. Uh, to Alex and, and to Mark, you know I love you, and I appreciate how you make this community better. So first, we want you to be there. We're going to put up a QR code real quick, and you can just scan that right there. That's for the ticket. And bring along a lawn chair. And bring a lawn chair. chair. Okay. Carpool. They said carpool. Carpool. Channel bring your inner Latino chair. and carpool. Uh, <laughs> day 20. That's tonight. Um, and so just make sure you're there. It's going to be at West Banco Amphitheater, 176 Park View Avenue. It's in Mount Washington. Starts at 8. Starts at eight. Beautiful hey, weather, if guys. You, beautiful weather. Yeah, we did that for you. We oh, did thank that. You. Oh, thank we appreciate you. that. Yeah. This QR code is different. If you can't come, do this QR code and give. What can you give? Five dollars, fifty, five hundred. What can you give? That's up to you. If you can't give any money, we understand. Give a prayer, please. But this is the QR code that will make a difference for cystic fibrosis. Mary Claire, you are just uh, something to just watch and be proud of. Thank you so much. You see the crashers there. If you've never seen them, you want to see them. They're the best band they ever. So much they are the they best. Are so they're much the fun. best band. Well, they're there, telling but... me that I got to wrap up. And Alex Ramundo, thank you for joining your talent. I want to go just to see what he's going to say. <laughs> me too. Because they won't tell us. So again, that is tonight. Thank you. Thank you, Dawn. As a daddy, you certainly are an example and as a good man, too. Thank you, Dawn. Thank you Indeed. so much. Thanks, All right. I love Thank you guys, you, and I'll you. see you later. You all know that we are not done when we come back. Louisville Metro Animal Services with us because it is Furry Friday. Stay with us, and we're going to introduce you to sweet babies that need a home.